Welcome to this video. This is the third video on programming batch files, and this is all about how to make variables and how to do math. Um, I'm going to be using Notepad++ for this program uh, instead of Notepad. This is a free program that you can get from notepadplus.org, this website, and I'll post this link in the description. It's easy to download and install, and it's very lightweight, and it makes programming a lot easier. It's a great tool, and if you're serious about programming, it should be something that uh, you can add to your tool belt. I'm going to start this uh, variable program, of course, with at echo off, and I'll set my language to batch. And then from here, I'm going to set my first variable. Variables are easy. You say set. And then you say whatever your variable name is. I drive a Toyota Supra, so I'm going to say Supra equal to 5. So now every time the computer has an instance of Supra, it can interpret that as 5. So if I want to echo Supra and pause and call that a program so far, call it variables on my desktop. There we go. And I execute that. Well, it says Supra. It doesn't say what the variable is worth. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a percent sign before and after the variable. So in other words, if I have Supra, then that refers to the variable. And if I have the percent signs around Supra, that means the value of the variable. So if I re-execute this program now with the value of Supra, I get 5. And I'll add some echo period, echo period. Now instead of five, I'll say this is a great car because I love my Supra. And if I execute that, well, it says this is a great car. So you can set variables equal to um, phrases, words, numbers. The sky's the limit. And um, that's all well and good. What if I wanted the user to decide what Supra is? And this can also be very important when it comes to programming. I'm going to use a different command. I'm going to say set, and then instead of my variable name, I'm going to say slash p Supra. And then I'm going to say is equal to here. I'm going to delete my extra quotation marks. This means give me the user input. With that being said, I'll run that, and it gives me this caret to type the value of what super should be. So I'm going to add some directions like what should supra be equal to. And then I can say I want super to be equal to turbocharger and then it echoes back what it's equal to from this line of code. So that's another good thing to know that you can make the user determine what the variable is equal to. And finally, we can um, have it do math. If I want it to do math, then I can say set slash a, which is for math, supra, equals. Now normally if I want to do the value of a variable I'd use a percent sign but in this case uh, when we're doing set slash a after the equal sign you don't need quotation marks. So I'm going to say supra plus 5. Now we'll add 5 to supra. So then I'll clear the screen and I'll say supra well, I have to echo supra plus 5 equals, and then I'll bring this up onto the next line, supra. So if I say 5, then 5 plus 5 is equal to 10. I'll add a space here for consistency. So supra plus, if I say 10, well then supra plus 5 equals 15, and you can accomplish math by doing that as well. So we've gone through a few basic commands. Um, the variable of um, how to ask the user what a variable should, variable should be, how to do math with variables, and how to set variables by yourself using the set command, saying set supra equal to 
5 or anything else. Hopefully this was a helpful video. If it was, please subscribe. That's the best way to help me back. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, you can post them to facebook.com slash Engineering. Otherwise, I'll catch you next time.